guys. So today with the 240 we're going to look at the wiring of the uh, Holly Terminator X that we got as well as some of the wiring for the um, fuse panel and wiring up the rest of the car. So it'll be a quick little video on that. Um, just show you some of the basics of wiring up the car and uh, yeah let's jump into the panel. Alright so I'm going to attempt to explain exactly how you go ahead and wire one of these build special these buttons up. Um, you can see this is their wiring diagram so you have the LED um, positive and negative here. Um, you'll forget about your normally closed. We won't even use those and we'll just use the outside too. Okay so first things first is our board has got ground and power um, and I kind of went over this in the last video so you can check that one out. Um, this is our power going out, so you can see this wire runs up to the power to the light that comes in through this side of the switchboard. So the same relay followed down is this relay, comes out to this first piece here. So this is our power in from the switch that comes around, and basically I have our, our switched on the one side as our normally open, and the LED um, positive wire attached to that so that when you press the button, your little LED ring turns on. Okay, the next part I guess we'll do is the ground. Obviously, you'll ground that out. Um, and then the last part of the wire, obviously, the white two ones we don't use, those are closed. And the last wire on the switch goes to our positive terminal for AC power. So that'll basically turn on once um, your ignition's on. That'll allow your button to then send power into here. You'll turn on your relay, goes through the fuse, and comes out and powers our light. So, there we go. Um, in a minute, I'll show you basically all of these switches. I got five of them will be in our switch panel. And what you can wire together, and then all the different leads coming off that'll all run down to our fuse um, panel that'll be in the rear of the car. Alright, right. apologize for the mess, but... It gets a little messy when you're getting all this stuff together. Okay, I um, wanted to go through and just give you an update on how to wire up the switches. So I got all the switches into my switch panel. Tighten them all down. Um, and so the first thing I did was all the black wires. So let's take that out of the way so you can see. Wired the first one from this side to here came around to this one here, and then to the final one, and then this wire will run out and go to ground. The next thing I'm gonna do is our um, first green wire. So this is gonna go to um, AC power. Um, so I'm gonna wire these two together on the outside, come around and wire to this outside one, this one, and then on this switch, I want the outer LED ring to come on as soon as I power the car on. So I'm going to take that top red one and wire it in. The top red one and wire it in with this green one. That'll go to AC power and that'll um, allow this LED ring to light as soon as I start the car. Or as soon as I turn power onto the car. The rest of them will only light once I actually press the switch that it's on. So this is my start button. I want that one to always be lit. And these ones will light as soon as I um, actually press the button. That way, I'll show you the next step when we wire the other two together. So, All right, so let's show you guys real quick what we got going on for the wiring. As you guys can see, we're going to mount the panel back here. Um, I ran the wires from the switches. You can see them right right up there. Um, ran it down the roll cage, down and around, and then came into the switch side. Um, the only one I have hooked up right now, we just hooked up the headlights, just to check that. Um, then, don't have a battery yet, but I just hooked it up to a battery I have on the floor here. Um, so it comes out of the battery, it comes to the back, to a kill switch in the back, and it comes up to the front, so I have a keyed one here. So that's a secondary kill switch. Um, from there, it goes back and puts power. Um, one second. 
its power in right here to the board. Here we have our ground cable. Um, and then there's two other wires that had to come from the top. Um, so I put one to here, so that'll be the ACC power, and then I grounded it down on the other side there. So, show you. So you'll walk around and I'll get in and show you how it works. All right, in the car here, um, there again is our um, kill switch that's uh, keyed, so I can take this with me. Uh, that way you can't start it without this. Um, ran the one power wire that goes through here, comes up the roll cage, and then goes into our switch panel. So we hit the switch. This one should light, because we're going to leave that one lit all the time, and these four will light whenever we press the button. So here we'll go ahead and fire that. So we got a red ring for our start button. Um, and these three are our others. And then this button should turn our headlights on. You can see they both turn on there. key what's up guys um, today we'll give you a little update and we're gonna go over the Terminator X we got for the car and some updates on the exhaust we got the ISC ISR excuse me headers on there actually really easy to install obviously we have a lot of room but uh, fitments great um, they look really good too um, also got their um, four inch uh, blast pipes for the rear of the car and we'll have to get the Y pipe redone um, so it fits. There's actually a, another brace I have under the car that it needs to go around so we'll have to get that done. Um, but yeah let's take a look at the Holly we got. So here's the Holly Terminator X. Um, this is what was it part number 9003 so this is the 24X um, reluctor wheel and for LS1, LS6. So it comes with, this is your full main harness. Um, actually, I have at the car, I already put on the injector harness. Got all that, and then it connects in the rear there. Um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and connect. This is the um, power wire for the Holly. It has a, here's the connector to connect it to the ECU, and there's a fuse. And on the other end, you can see here, we'll put two um, eyelets on it, and this hooks directly to the battery. So, and Holly stresses that you connect that directly to the battery using these guys, um, so it's a clean, um, positive and ground. So, we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so we got most of it wired up. Holly, um, it's actually really simple, everything's labeled really well. Um, so I kind of laid it out coming through here. I'm going to drill a hole in the firewall, run that through, and these are your different wires to power, actually turn the holly on, stuff like that. So we'll go over that in a little bit. These are your outputs, which you can use or not. This is your power tap. If you need to tap into different powers or whatever, you can tap in here. Um, still got to plug in um, the ignition on either side, but have injectors all plugged in. We did um, throttle position sensor, idle air control, our MAT or our idle, or our, excuse me, the intake um, temperature sensor will have to be in our intake once we do that, so that'll we can put aside. Map sensor's plugged in. Backside, we'll have to get a different um, oil pressure transducer since this one doesn't quite work. Um, back here, I have the cam sensor plugged in, and I have a jumper wire. Runs up here and then plugs in down there. Your crank sensor is down over in the back there. I'm trying to think what else. Um, behind here, I connected um, the injectors. This is a connector there, and then I also put down the um, uh, wide band. So we'll go into there, connect that. I'm going to connect it to the driver's side right now since that typically runs leaner. But once I get the full exhaust put in, We'll weld, it, we'll weld in a bung further back where they um, connect after the Y pipe. Um, knock sensors we're going to leave off right now when you do the startup tune. Um, they're not configured. Um, but yeah, so we just got to drill a hole, get this through, and then we'll mount it up to the Holly and should be good to go.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, looking at a little bit of the wiring. I didn't go too in-depth on everything we did for the wiring. Um, the Holly system is super easy. Everything wires up really, really easy in the engine bay. And the only thing you really need to remember is wiring straight to the back to get power. And then I ran the one um, ACC wire up to my switch that I ran through the panel as well. Um, I'll go over the interface a little bit later on. Um, just kind of wanted to get a video together just to kind of update you on everything going on with the car. Um, wiring was like the most important thing that I needed to get done. Um, we did have the um, whole exhaust put in and get wired. I do have an issue with the diff, but um, other than that, everything's pretty much done. And the next video, you'll hear it fire up as well as you'll um, get to see the new Corvette that we got. Um, so yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and check out our new shirts. I don't know if I could show you the back. I'll post a picture right here and you'll be able to see it in the back of the shirt, bagged and boosted. Make sure you get you one. And um, we're going to have this car out at Street Car Takeover. So uh, hope we see you guys there and we'll be vlogging up there. See ya.